dollars. So how will the nation's exploding deficits and mounting debt affect President Obama's plans to overhaul health care as it is delivered in this country? Let's bring in Democratic Congressman Allison Schwartz of Pennsylvania, also vice, Pre uh, vice chair, I should say, of the House Budget Committee. And Republican Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona, he is a member of the Republican Study Committee. Uh, Congressman Franks, uh, almost $2 trillion more in deficit than anybody was forecasting over the next decade. What's your assessment? What does that mean for health care reform? Well, I think it should mean in reasonable hearts and minds that uh, this is the absolutely wrong time to be adding another trillion dollars in spending uh, by the federal government. And, uh, you know, I saw a statistic the other day that was pretty profound. It said the $12 trillion debt that we have now, if we paid that off at a million dollars a day and didn't go into debt any further and didn't have any interest on that debt, it would still take us 34,000 years to pay it off. And now we're talking about maybe in the next dozen years doubling that. And we're not, we're not paying it off. We're going into debt at 2,000 times that much every day, about $2 billion every day. So Con I just have to say to you, this, you almost have to sound like an alarmist to tell the truth about this debt. Congresswoman Schwartz, I'm going to guess you disagree. Well, I certainly want to say that uh, as a vice chair of the Budget Committee, I feel very strongly about bringing down uh, that, the national debt, uh, making sure that we meet this commitment to reduce the annual deficit over the next five years. And that's a commitment we have made. I suppose a piece of good news that you didn't mention is that this year's debt has a deficit is uh, also projected to be down. But we're very serious about uh, really making sure we bring the deficit down. Now, part of that is making sure that we do health care reform and the fact is that uh, the health care reform legislation will be paid for that's a commitment we've made we will not add to the deficit uh, we passed rules in the in the house to make sure that that uh, that is so and of course in the legislation that we have already presented uh, in the house half of that trillion dollars over the next 10 years is paid for through savings uh, and reductions in uh, current government programs and waste uh, and uh, cuts that All we right. know that we can make but, uh, that will so that's a half that's already half uh, we counted for through savings the other half will be paid for but congressman frank here's what has a lot of people concerned i mean this this new deficit number is almost twenty percent higher than anybody projected it's it's one thing for government officials to say we're going to do this and we're going to do that but sometimes the whole the, the cold hard facts of reality are very different from what was expected well, speaking of the cold, hard facts of reality, I don't know how someone calls a $1.6 trillion uh, deficit um, to be the deficits down. That's the highest we've had since World War II. Uh, it's about 11% of our GDP. And uh, uh, every projection this administration has had, including like the clunkers bill, has always ended up costing a great deal it's sort of indigenous to government. So I, I just have to say to you that people better wake up and be very vigilant because we're taking this direction, uh, this country in a direction that if we don't stop soon, it could be the central theme in America's economic obituary. Congresswoman Schwartz, we just have about 20 seconds left, but, but why not uh, put a freeze on the health care debate, rethink things, get some bills in place so we really know what we're talking about? Oh, we, we're going to watch these numbers very, very carefully. But the fact is, unless we can bring down the cost of health care, both for government and for businesses and for families, uh, that we won't be able to sustain the rate of growth uh, by doing nothing. Uh, taking no action on health care reform is a much more dangerous road uh, in terms of adding to the deficit in the national debt, not to mention our economic competitiveness and the heartache for so many families. So action has to be taken by Congress. We will do it in a fiscally responsible way. All right, members of Congress. I would, I would just add this, John. If, if indeed a government takeover brings down the cost of health care, it'll be a first in history. Members of Congress, Allison, Allison Schwartz, Trent Franks.